Liza's gonna love it. You're gonna love it. All of you're gonna love it. Jordan's probably gonna take that too. <laughs> <laughs> you wrong for that. <laughs> it's probably gonna happen. Welcome back to another episode of Blurred Up Reacts, where we watch and react to the latest and greatest in movie, TV, and gaming. We are your hosts. I'm Killer Cam. And I'm Monique. And we're back with another episode of Superman and Lois. I believe we're on episode five. Yep, yep. All right. Last episode, we got some developments here. So there's this annoying criminal named Kil uh, Kilgraves <laughs> who talks funny, and I just don't appreciate it. <laughs> Especially because he had that candy or whatever was in his mouth and was driving me up the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> we saw Jordan um, is now on the football team and he's the superstar. He got the game ball. Yep, yep. Taking a little bit of uh, Jonathan's steam on the football team. So I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? Shout out to Jonathan, man. Because just when you think he's about to break, he, he just pulls the ultimate... Like Big Brother, like oh, mm -hmm. I, I was jealous, but it's all good, man. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days, it's not gonna happen like that. Though I still have a feeling, like one of these days, he's gonna be like, you know what? Shit. Get on, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, uh, Morgan Edge got the mining rights to small bill, small, mm -hmm. small bill, small bill, because Clark didn't show up to the meeting. Right. And he told Lois he was going to, mm -hmm. and Lois mm -hmm. took it like a champ, I mean, because she's Lois Lane. Mm -hmm. Um, but as a result of that, he's discovered the, 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 the ex kryptonite. Yeah. Which turns out is responsible for Tang's, uh, vibrator power <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yo what. i told you though that reminded me of an episode of smallville mm -hmm. and it was uh the cyborg's dad who was the person who was like shaking constantly on smallville and he couldn't like control it so like uh -oh. i thought that was kind of cool that we just saw him in uh justice league but yeah. then we had, yeah this episode was too bad but anyway sorry go ahead no, I'm like, that's just an interesting because like even with the last episode, I was still trying I was finding it hard to pinpoint, well, what exactly is the power? Like mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, he's got some strength because he busts to a tree, yeah. but you know. Yeah. So I don't know. And then Lois's trash dad, I'm Dylan sorry. Wash. <laughs> He used to be my was, homie. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I was about to but. say he vibrates so fast. <laughs> PG, PG, our mom and dad watch this. <laughs> okay, continue. We got Dylan Wash. Dylan Wash. Wash. <laughs> See, I can't even talk now. Dylan Wash, he's becoming a trash daddy. <laughs> Pretty much trying to tell Clark and Lois how to run their house when he was never at home when Lois was little. So yeah, but the contingency plan. So he basically activated um, a new project, basically to keep Clark in check. I guess you know. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so I'm wondering what this episode has to show us. I'm um, again, I am really enjoying. You know what? I'm really enjoying this show. <laughs> I am too. Um, I'm sorry. I've got it stuck in my head now. Like, <laughs> I am really enjoying this show as well. Um, I do hope that we see some changes by the end of the episode. I know last episode we mentioned, you know, about their portrayal of African American mm -hmm. uh, characters on this show. So still hoping that we see some changes in that department, seeing them more as protagonists as, as opposed to antagonists in the show or villains. Um, but yeah, I'm still here. I'm still watching. Um, it's still giving us the uh, the best of the best that they can of mm -hmm. Superman and Lois and their family and, you know, Smallville. So I'm here for it. Yeah, I think the dynamic that I'm enjoying, because we're seeing this with another show. Of course, this show came out first, but we're also seeing this with Falcon and Winter Soldier. 
mm-hmm. where we're getting to see behind the facade of a superhero hero what they actually deal with on top of saving the world. Mm-hmm. So um, I think from that aspect, I'm really enjoying it. And if you are interested, we do react to Falcon and Winter Soldier every week. So uh, please make sure if you are new to this channel, if you're digging this content, you want to stay up to date with this and other shows react to, we react to, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Um, And just uh, overall, thank you to everyone who has been supporting us up to this point. Your likes, your views, your comments, man, it makes us feel good. And that's truly the best way to support this channel and help us grow. So keep doing what you're doing. We'll keep shouting you out. We'll keep reacting. We got some things coming up, some more shows that we're like, woohoo. So you don't want to miss that. Yeah. All right. Superman and Lewis, episode five. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Mm -mm, It's too early. I've always loved Smallville during the fall, the changing of seasons, but what I loved most of all... Harvest Fest? I've been hearing about this from your dad since we first started dating. Bedtime stories to help you sleep or what? (laughs) 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 What? I was just about to say. (laughs) Like, your grandmother loved it, okay? She used to spend weeks planning what we were going to donate. Your dad learned a lot about giving and helping people in need from this. The sense of community, it's its the best of what Smallville is. Food stands alone, funnel cakes, can they make chocolate bacon? Good. Oh. Uh, Eliza's vegetarian. Eliza's gonna love it, you're gonna love it, all of you are gonna love it. Jordan's probably gonna take that too. <laughs> <laughs> you wrong for that. <laughs> it's probably gonna happen. I know it's kind of hokey, but um, you guys going tonight? Yeah, actually, uh, Eliza's coming too. What about you? Wanna go together? Let me just speak for my brother here. He would love to go with you. We'll meet up beforehand? For sure, yeah, I'll text you when, uh, when Eliza's coming. Cool. Jeez. That's not... Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what used to happen to me when I asked people out at high school. Oh, hey, uh, you didn't even see me. <laughs> Eliza, can, oh. we, can we please just talk about this? Whatever. Yeah. They broke up. See? Yeah. Jonathan keeps losing. Hey, Chrissy. Lois, are you coming in soon? Why, what's going on? Sharon Powell's here. Is she okay? She's okay, actually. And so's her son. No oh, <gasps> shit. You don't remember what happened? They found him outside a church. They helped me remember who I was. What about Mm-mm. the uh, phone messages you left your mom? You sounded scared. The doctors said that with a hit to the head like that, it might take some time for his memories to return. Oh, Manchurian candidate. Nope. Nope. It's him. He's been mind wiped. So happy that he's back. All this other stuff, it, it just doesn't matter. Sharon, someone tried to kill you. We they just came to off. say thank you. It's up to you. What? You want to write something? Write about how my missing son has returned. Thank you for your time. How he's a freaking weirdo now. They I'll had do. him in a facility or something. Mm-hmm. They got paid off. They gave him back and paid her off. Bonnie's story was all sorts of rehearsed. Right. I know. And we will figure it out. But for now, let's just be happy she got our son back. A couple bags of men's clothes. Can I get a name for recognition? Sharon and Derek Powell. From New Carthage. Glad you're back. This man is not right. I'll get the rest of the bags. You think he got powers? Probably. Mm-mm. That hot pitch. That's not going to work in my ear today. Miss Laura. <laughs> There's something wrong. I need to see you now. Hello. He's gonna have some uh, laser vision. Mm. He done burnt the whole gym down. (laughs) What's in the box? Get out of here as fast as we can. Uh, excuse me. Equipment. What you need to put back. Oh man. Sorry, kid. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> Our bad. We'll put it all back. Uh, don't let him get away. You could have put your suit on. <laughs> I know. Cause how how are we explaining this? Any idea what caused this? You know, I don't know what's more confusing. Now the damn thing started or how it ended. Have you seen this guy? Why, why do you ask? I need to talk to him about his story. Thanks for your time. I'm sorry about your friend. Miss Light? Hey. 
Mm-mm. I've been looking for you. I'd be like, well, how you found me, child? <laughs> so what exactly brings a Reuters tech reporter to Smallville, Kansas? I'm a huge fan. Yeah. I thought there might be a bigger story here, so... You trying to poach my story? It's not my intent. Just want to be on Team Lewis. Not sure I have much of a roster these days. Still have Superman. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that was appropriate to put there for <laughs> Don't worry, Lois. I did it for you. <laughs> have to hear anything else about this stupid harvest fest. Yeah. Farming or basically anything else about this backwards ass town. I'm sorry about Eliza. I lost all my friends, and, and, and now what? You just expect me to drop my life for everyone else's? Look, I know, I know. A lot has changed, but I promise you, it's all gonna work out. There was a time in my life when I felt just like you. I'm not like you, and I'm not like Superboy over there, okay? In this town, it is my kryptonite. I hate it. I told y'all. Brian Kelso's older brother has a place, okay? I- I was thinking maybe I could just stay with them. No, you are not going to stay with the Kelsos. You know what? Maybe I'll just do it anyways then. Because that's what Jordan did with football, and you let him get away with it. This Harvest Fest is so awesome. Let's go have some real fun. Don't throw me in the argument Sorry, now, dude. Like, <laughs> I don't want to go with you. <laughs> but they were stealing. I understand that, but we've got rules in this family. Those were Dad's rules. Dad understood. He knew I was sent here for a reason. Your father and I both knew you were sent here for a reason. I'm pretty sure that reason wasn't to be Martha Kent's son. Boy, I will slap you. So that's where your badass kids get it from. (laughs) This explains a lot. (laughs) How's Mitch? He took in a lot of smoke. A lot of questions as to whether or not he's going to be able to come back to the station. I'm sorry. Oh. You been drinking? It's been a long, hard day. A little bit of slack would have been okay, though. Yeah. Gosh, friend is in the hospital. Gosh, I'm agreeing with Kyle. <laughs> I know. <right? laughs> that would have happened. <laughs> it's a Kansas joke. What's up, boys? We are locked and loaded. Hell yeah! Better drink up for the big game. Uh, really, Jonathan? Why don't you go find Sarah? Fine. Get to you, party guy. We'll see how that goes. I'm telling. <laughs> I don't even have to speak that loud. Dad, John. <laughs> you would think it's a fucked up shit. Like that. Hey, sit down for just a minute. Hey, you remember that song I used to sing when you were a little girl? De la sierra morena, cielito lindo y en el bazar. He's Spanish? And that's why I was like, I didn't know this. Stop! That was a long time ago. Yeah, it's unreal. It just flies, doesn't it? I should get going. Hey, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be right behind you, Mika. Y'all should not be making me feel sympathetic towards Kyle. I hate you. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Dad, trying to make it in the world. I'm sorry about earlier, Clark. I shouldn't have gotten so upset. You were right. You no, no, Why is she apolog- apologizing? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're meant for, for bigger things. What is this? Your father found it in the pod when you arrived. I don't know what it does or what it's for. I just I just know it belongs to you. And it might be the key to figuring out what your future is. If that was our mom and dad, they would have been like, if you're not going to apologize. Look, everything's not okay. The sheer weight of all of the really bad things that are going on in my life, and I'm pretty sure that my therapist is tired of hearing me talk about the same stuff. Try me. Okay. My yo, dad, yo, guys, he... look! It's everybody's favorite kid brother. It's Mr. <laughs> Charming, baby. Chill, chill. Look, guys, guys, guys. It's this guy's first date. This is his first date. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that come. Wow. You can't go one weekend without partying like idiots? Sarah, hey, look, you need Don't to relax. Touch hey, me. we're just kidding. Don't talk to me like that. He's having a really rough day. That's all Oh, you're having is. a rough okay. day? For people who don't come from a picture perfect family like you? Yo, chill. Sarah, we'll... <laughs> Everybody got their problems. Talk to you later. Move. Jordan, hey, Jordan, Jordan, hey, Jordan what, what, look, hey, what, what? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I didn't, I didn't mean to ruin your night like that. Um, it's all right. Just get you some water, okay? Okay. okay? I was going to say, he's your brother. He's at your back. <laughs> <laughs> Just one time. <laughs> Be nice to him. You talked to Jonathan? Oh. Yeah, he wants to move back to Metropolis. Who said that? You know, among other things. Here he comes. And he's been drinking. You've been drinking? 
What? Your dad can smell it. The whole town can smell it. It's not that big a deal. Excuse me? Okay, go home right now. Chrissy, now is not a good time. So Sharon Paul came into the office, and I, like, totally sleuthed my way onto her phone to get Derek's location. I never would have thought it would lead me to him making out with Leslie Lar. Leslie Lar is there with Derek Powell? She took him to this building where there's this crazy bride of Frankenstein machine. Girl. Talk while you're on the road, sister. I know. I was like, this is not a conversation to have in a parking lot. Okay, so Superman went. <laughs> Ooh. Oh shit. <laughs> Look. <laughs> what is this? Protect the asset. Protect the asset. What the? Oh. Three, two, one, five. Uh oh. He's doing that thing that Tang was doing. You really thought you were going to catch up to them. Ooh, you got some quad muscles on you, though. Look at that. <laughs> did you see his quads? I did. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting you to say that. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I'm, I'm really sorry. It's okay. <laughs> do you see how Lois cocked her head? <laughs> yeah. I did the same thing. When I was just a couple years older than you, I did leave home. I needed to become someone else. I still think about that decision. That time that I gave up with my mom, I never got it back. You have your own path. And it might not feel like it right now, but I know it's going to lead to great things. All I'm asking is that you give Smallville a little more time. Okay? Okay. All right, it's getting late. You better go upstairs before we change our minds about that punishment. <sighs> I'm still trying to process what happened to Derek Powell. I don't think it was Derek. His powers were erratic. Like Tag Harris. Well, whatever Edge and Leslie are doing with that machine, it has something to do with the mines. Hi! I know it isn't much, but every little bit helps, right? Oh, thank you. That's so thoughtful. One last donation you need to see. Okay. <laughs> As you know, Martha Kent was everything this town aspires to be. She was generous, and she was always there when you needed her. Everyone in Smallville can remember her sitting right here. And though she is no longer physically with us, her spirit remains and she will be right here for whoever needs her. Mm, that's sweet. Yeah, that's nice. The train will be here any minute. It's time, Clark. Stalker much? This must be about Lois Lane. This is not the Lois Lane from your world. Everything about her is the same. Everything except she marries someone else. Oh no. Yep, I just figured what? Aren't they out of the country? Like where oh in that tag? What did you do to me? What? Julie! Jordan beat his ass. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's strong. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. I am a bit annoyed because on the other CW shows we do be getting like end credit scenes and stuff, but I didn't <laughs> say that. <laughs> hmm. Cause I expected one right there. I wanted it. No, uh, it's I'm not. Gonna I'm gonna let it play through just in case. <laughs> really? <laughs> just in case. No, nah, it's not gonna get one. No. Okay. I would have got. We would have got it by now. Um, um, wait. No. I, I want to highlight something really quick because there was a scene in here <laughs> where, where Clark and Lois were walking through the fair, and they were like, "Oh yeah, you know, he said he wanted to uh, move out or something like that." And if that were our, I'm sorry, if that were our parents, it would have been like a comedy type of situation. They would have been like, and then, and then she said, then, hold on, hold on, then she said, she want to move out. You ain't Go got ahead, no, then. You ain't got no Come jam. <laughs> They did treat that. You know what? I was laughing in my head because I was like, now nah, that is not real. Right. <laughs> like, you know what your child told me today? She wanted to move out. I told her to go to <laughs> It was a few 
viewpoints like when he was in there cussing at those time about hey, this backwards ass town. I was like yeah. <laughs> Lois cocked her head a little bit. I thought she was gonna tag him, but she didn't. <laughs> Apparently our upbringing is way different than this upbringing because I wish we would have I wish I would have told our mom and dad I would have told them. They would have looked at me like what's stopping you? Right. <laughs> stopping you <laughs> <laughs> oh jesus oh, oh my okay, gosh anyways. um still a good episode though a lot yeah. happened so okay so what's up with the uh ex kryptonite then because again we had the what's his name Derek I think it's not Derek guy who was yeah. saying like not alone Kal-El so it seems like he's turning into a completely different person right so remember at the beginning of the last episode, there was like this meteor shower, right? Mm-hmm. And remember I asked you, I was like, what is that? Are those Krypton like Kryptonians? Because if it looked like pods. But mm-hmm. I don't think that's what it was. I'm thinking that was probably the remnants of Krypton exploding, maybe, mm-hmm. and then flying to Earth, and maybe somehow in those pieces of Krypton, they're kind of like harboring souls or something yeah Yeah. i don't know i'm gonna go i don't remember this storyline from any books so i'm gonna have to google it to see if it's an existing thing or is this something just made up for the show but um that's immediately what i went to kind of like these (laughs) these rocks i'm trying to think of the best way to say it these rocks contain like pieces or spirits of kryptonians past or some shit like that yeah could be could be but yeah i'm like you as well i don't know much about x kryptonite i'm gonna have to look that up um to see if there's anything that i can read up about or you guys i think i think there was somebody last week um or in a i'm not sure if it's last week or the week before video who gave us a little bit information about yeah um, uh, uh, project 13 or something like Mm -hmm. that yeah so um, if you guys know, let us know. Drop down in the comments below. But otherwise, we're gonna we're gonna do some googling here to try to find out. But um, what other things did we find out in this episode? Captain Luthor Boy, is Lois was something. Yeah. <laughs> like, look to Lois in another in another uh, multiverse, basically. So yeah. So like, hmm. That took me, that took me right up to the last second to figure that out it because did. Mind, I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? And he was like, this is Dr. Lewis, you know? And right. I was like, oh, wow. Uh, I okay. thought it earlier, but I didn't think it that far. I, mm-hmm. I, di- I didn't think that they were together. I just thought that they were maybe really close, which, of course, in my head, like, y'all, I'm tired. But in my head, <laughs> I think on any other day, I'm, we probably would have caught that quicker, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So that kind of heightens the situation between uh, Captain Luthor and, and Clark at this point, because not yeah. only is Captain Luthor saying like, this guy's going to destroy us all. He he's also woman. like, he also got my woman, you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't going to stand for none of this. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. but ye... <laughs> just there's some, there some things here where i was just they're like question marks that i need them to resolve so like i think we're pretty much on the right path here morgan edge was like okay they getting too close release him back into the wild or whatever and mm-hmm. just get them off our trail i guess or whatever yeah, but um path. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering how many people, number one, how many people have developed these powers does he have? Where are they being housed at? Because it can't just be one or two of them, you know? That's true. Or maybe that they're they're testing it. um, They've tested it on all these people and he's the only one left. Everybody else might have died. He's probably maybe the only one that took to it, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um, then you got Tag coming out. Like, he is supposed to be in a special kid school. And mm-hmm. he whooping Jordan's ass. Talking about, you did this to me. You know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like. So we kind of figured that he got superpowers from um, that incident where Jordan blew up everybody pretty, pretty much, basically. Mm-hmm. He, I guess he inhaled some kind of ex-kryptonite. But I guess another question that I have is, why is he not 
taken on a different um, soul, like Krypton, Kryptonian soul. He's probably not there yet. So my guess is, okay, this is where we get really nerdy, you guys. <laughs> my guess is that over a period of time, they become unstable. Mm, mm -hmm. And that okay. instability is when the other soul or whoever it is starts to come out. That's what I think. Because again, when it got to Derek, you know, he had to go back into that little pod thing she had to just mm -hmm. kind of restabilize. But at the end of the day, that didn't help him. I'm sorry. I just thought of something else. Who was <laughs> Kryptonian soul? Because right before they he took off, that Derek Powell guy took off and Superman went to go chase after him, he was like, protect the asset. So whoever he is is involved in this type of like okay y'all gotta find me a body to get into it sounds that's like. true you know what mm -hmm. i forgot about that yeah this is interesting i'm curious yeah. to see where this goes yeah um, what's up with kyle he's gonna be the next one i think he's the next vessel yeah um so you're right on that front but i'm like y'all made me kind of feel bad for him this episode i don't I like know. that because i don't like him he was Hispanic and he was talking about <laughs> and, so I was like, oh, and he was like, you remember that song I used to sing you? Because I, like, oh. I really did a lot of it, like really kind of went off on him. Yeah. And But I, I well, I understand why she went off on him, but, yeah. cut, you know, cut him some slack, you know, his friends are like in the hospital. Somebody he works with is in the hospital. Yeah. Not feeling the, you know, the best right now. Just didn't have to yell at him she went off on him because that's probably his behavior 90 percent of the time <laughs> where there's not an excuse and so the time where he probably could should get a little bit more leeway she was like i don't care like <laughs> it's no different you know but i need to under no i need to under what's what's up with their family there's something weird with them I have no idea. Like, is it really just trauma? Like, like what? Th that was I don't know. I can't even talk I right. What you're saying. Like, that scene between Kyle and... Um... Sarah. Is that her name? Sarah? Sarah. Sarah. Let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> but yeah, it was really weird, wasn't it? Because he was like, remember that song? And she was like, no, don't like not little anymore so like yeah like i just feel like like something more like something what else has happened here because this family is weird as fuck the little girl don't talk like what she do she mm -hmm. says something like off the wall it's just weird yeah um because i watch the id channel so much my brain is going to a dark space i know I, I know I'm trying to stay away <laughs> from it <laughs> CW would go that far, but there's still something going on that we don't know of. I think that yeah. we'll probably find out. Yeah. Um. Shout out to what's the the girl name from the Gazette? Judy is that her name? Mm hmm Shout I thought out to. I, I thought she was dead. Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> this episode. <laughs> you wait till I you on too. the road till you make a phone call after you've made discoveries like that. Right. Talk about Lois. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff, girl. <laughs> like, sorry, <laughs> yeah, like plus they pseudo kryptonians they got super hearing probably <laughs> somebody yeah. that bitch in the parking lot making calls <laughs> right <laughs> but no nope, she pulled through this episode i like i really like her character though she's actually really funny so um she's trying to be lois lane she got a little bit she got a little bit the phone thing i was like yeah yeah, that was slick, but I don't want it to get Careful. her in trouble. She's not Lois Lane. You I don't mean, got Superman. You better come. Right. Down. But she's not even the Lois Lane, like the tough Lois Lane that we've sure. seen so far. So yeah. I'm just like, just because you're not even at that level yet, girl, just be careful. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I will say though, again, I think I said this last episode too. I'm really enjoying this Superman and this Lois. Like, there's something about them that it, it's if it, it works. Yeah, it works. Even Clark, his doofy ass, sometimes when he was talking about the festival, it was just kind of like it's Clark, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's Clark, not like Clark. Leave Clark alone. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I told y'all Jonathan was gonna pop off. 
I told y'all Jonathan was going to be like, you know what? Like, I hate all of you and I hate all of this. Let me go back to uh, Metropolis because this ain't for me. Like, I knew he was going to pop off. I thought it was going to be bigger than that, but... Yeah. I knew I, when he said that girl was coming, I was like, she ain't coming. <laughs> right, right. And what is... I'm sorry. What a shitty thing to do. Don't break up with somebody over a phone, over a yeah. text, over Facebook. At least give them that face unless you're scared of them. Like right. scared of them. You could still kind of meet with them, but in like a public place. So people around. <laughs> she could have came down, enjoyed the night, and then ended the night. Yeah. Like, I got to go back. Listen, you know, you're mm-hmm. here. I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll always be friends. <laughs> So I guess I'm kind of excited to see what's what uh, what is in store for Jonathan at this point because I feel like he's lost pretty much everything um, mm-hmm. that he was in Metropolis now that his you know he doesn't have his girlfriend anymore so I'm kind of exi- excited to see what else they're gonna do with his character and his story just to get him out of this place that he's in right now. Um, not just with him but with everybody involved here. So we're on episode five and it seems like now now finally things feel crucial to me. Does that make mm-hmm. sense? Now I feel like we're dealing with some real conflict all around. Like okay. some shit's about to pop off. So yeah. I'm ex- I'm excited. I'm yeah. excited for it. Me too. Me too. <sighs> uh, anything else in this episode? I think the Leslie Lar character, um, I think in the last video I was I was saying that she wasn't the same person as the laser eye person. Mm-hmm. She might be now. I think she is. I think she just had a ponytail and a hat on. I think it it was her. Yeah, yeah. That's my bad because at first I was like, that wasn't her that killed the um. Oh, what was his name? Subject eleven, basically. I think it was subject eleven in the in the show. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I guess that's her now. I guess she's the one, and which I really love. I love her as an actress. Um. I. Uh, I don't. I don't know her name. I just know her as Elias. (laughs) I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so um but yeah yeah i'm excited to see how the rest of the season's going to um gonna go at this point uh again it's it's becoming one of my favorite cw it is actually one of my favorite cw shows at this point um i like what they're doing and can't wait to see where they're gonna go next with it yeah there's got to be more super soldiers there's has to be more you know because she terminated him so Mm -hmm. she must Mm -hmm. be in charge of the girls anyway (laughs) What do you guys think? Do you think this was a good episode? Do you think it could have been better? Do you think that this is the catalyst for the rest of the series to pop off? Drop down in the comments. Let us know. Until next time, we are your hosts. I'm Killer Cam. And I'm Monique. We'll see you on the next episode of Blurred Up Reacts. Thanks, guys.